Hey all, this is Lou Rayo, inside my window, inside my window. How's it all? How's everyone doing? How's it going, my friends? I have some news for you. We're doing a video on how to cook a turkey inside the Ninja Foodie XL oven. Yeah, what makes it so different from everyone else? Simplicity, I'm gonna keep it simple. We don't need complications. No, it should just be simple. We got enough to worry about. But in order to make it simple, we gotta get right to it. So let's do that, baby. Let's get this bird going, all right. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. We're gonna take the Ninja XL oven and we'll put it to the side. And we're going to prepare the bird. I'm gonna go ahead step by step, my friends. I wanna make this as easy as possible. No complications. What? No, no complications. And we're gonna use this whole counter as our work area to get the bird prepped for the Ninja XL oven. Let's do that. Now, this bird, this bird is, ah, hello, what's the poundage? This bird is 11.44 pounds, almost 11 and a half pounds. This bird, keep in mind, will it, it will fit in the oven. In fact, I have done a 14 pound bird in the Ninja XL. What we wanna do, we wanna prep this to do that, we want to unwrap this and we want to go ahead and wash it down. Yes, you want to wash your any chicken, turkey, pork. You want to clean it before we start prepping and dry it. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. We're going to place this in the sink. And the reason being, we want to keep everything sanitized as much as we can. Cut all the plastic open to get the turkey out without cutting the skin. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic. And you're gonna see all the juices from, from the turkey. Let's wash this baby out just like that. Let's wash this as much as we can. And here, some turkeys already come with like a plastic leg lock. Can you see that? And it's to keep the legs together I pulled this out. It will come with the gizzards. Most of them do. See that? They come with the gizzards. The neck. It's going to be placed in the cavity. Pull the sucker out just like that. Just pull it and let's discard all this. Now, some people will use the liver, the, the neck bone for their gravy. You don't want to use that in your turkey. It gives you like an aftertaste. You want to clean and sterilize as much as possible because you don't want cross-contamination at all. All I'm doing, I'm pat drying before I transfer the turkey into my prepping bowl and we'll go from there. All right, let me show you what we're gonna do as far as seasoning the bird at this point. And this is gonna be simple, real simple. I have a bunch of dry herbs along with minced chopped garlic already prepared. I don't handle or touch during the time I'm preparing the bird, I don't touch any of the housing that the herbs are, are in. And the reason for that, once again, I don't want any cross contamination even though we wash and dried it's still the point is it's not fully cooked i went ahead and measured out and placed it in one bowl and this is the bowl i'm just going to use to and prepare the bird with all the herbs that's already blended together and then i'll just toss this into the sink and don't have to worry about any of these being cross contaminated i'm using basil leaves dry basil leaf i'm using garlic powder I have ground black pepper. 
Italian seasoning, and rosemary. I use two, about two and a half tablespoons each other than the black pepper. The black pepper, I went ahead and I only used about maybe a tablespoon. Sodium, salt, a little less than a tablespoon. Not, not quite, not a heaping scoop. And the reason for that, which most people do not know, that a turkey, along with chicken, a whole turkey and a whole chicken, probably even a non-whole, are full of sodium. Yes, they inject sodium. It's crazy. It's like over 100 milligrams of sodium injected into this bird. Do not, do not add too much salt. No matter what you see on YouTube, a recipe to make a turkey for Thanksgiving or any other type or any other occasion, do not listen to, to adding that much salt. It's already full of salt. The only exception is if you buy a turkey or any bird, chicken, and it's organic and it's at your local organic retailer, ask and is it injected? Most likely not. Ah, how good is that? So then you can go ahead and add, according to taste, the amount of salt that you wish for. Otherwise, stay away. Stay away. Don't add too much. Now, a lot of people don't know that. And they also inject sugar. So you got salt, sugar, and other additives. And this bird has it, trust me that you're not aware of. We're gonna take some Italian greens as well, and we're gonna use that as our stuffing. Now, what, and I have extra virgin olive oil, and then I have garlic here. Very simple, not complicated. You don't want to overstuff the turkey with crap. You really don't. The less, the better. Less is more. You're going to get full flavor. I don't do turkeys that much, but when I do, they always come out tender. The white meat, tender, juicy. Reason is because the more you stuff, the more you're drying out the turkey. I don't even put butter in there, friends. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna show you that by doing this, you're gonna get the white meat just as tender and juicy as the dark. Not 100%, but just close enough. And you're gonna say, I never had white meat as tender and juicy as I just had now. That's because you're following this recipe. What we'll do, we'll go ahead and coat. Ah, oh, yeah, coat this baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh, massage it. Just go ahead and massage it. You don't have to, I mean, friends, don't, don't overdo it. You don't need to overdo it. Just get, just get it all around. Now I'll take this baby and I'm gonna pour just a little bit in there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna massage the inside. Oh yeah. Oh, how's that feel, bird? Ah, do you feel good? Ah, work those muscles. I don't need any more. Put it aside. Done. Done. And I'm gonna season the inside with the herbs that I mix. And by the way, I'll have it in the description. Look, friends. You can put whatever you want. If you want to use spicy herbs, do it. If you're from the islands and you want to use, you know, those uh, spices, go ahead and do it. Whatever you grew up on, use those spices. It, there is no science to this. We make it difficult. We make it complicated. Use what you have. Use according to your taste. Now, I'm going to rub this around. I'm going to show you something now. When it comes to garlic, some people, they like to pierce. They like to take a knife and stick a whole garlic or a half a garlic clove into the turkey and they'll do it around. Don't do that, my friends. Don't do that because when you're piercing the breast, you're going to, the juices are going to come out and it's going to dry up that area. Yeah, it's going to get the flavor of what you're inserting in, but it's going to dry out. You don't want to do that. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift the skin gently. Ah, where does the skin begin? Look at that, gently. I'm gonna be gentle. I don't want to cut or break the skin on the top. 
What I'm doing, I'm opening it up and I'm doing it backwards. So if you allow me, let me move this forward towards me. I'm gonna take my hand and gently separating the skin from the breast, just like that. Don't use a knife. Just feel with your hand. How's that feel, bird? <laughs> awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Feels so good. Oh no, right there. I need that. Yeah, it's really tough there. All right, there we go. Why am I doing this? I'm gonna take my herbs that I already mixed. I'm gonna lay it into, and I do this with chicken, by the way. Same, same, same steps. Same steps, my friends. Gonna add some more. We don't need to overdo it. We're gonna get as far as back without piercing. Get down to the breast area. See my hand? Hello, hello, how you doing? See, nice, nice, very nice. I'm gonna take garlic, a heaping scoop, put it in there, place it in there, put it in there, whatever you wanna call it. Ah, yeah. And rub it around, just rub it around. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Now, I'm going to take garlic. Just gonna pour the rest here. Just like that. Oh yeah, baby. I love garlic. You don't have to, if you're not a garlic lover, don't worry about it. I love garlic. I, I just love garlic. You know, I'm half Italian. What can I say? Does it mean that other cultures don't like garlic? Why, why does people say, when they love garlic, they say they're Italian or half or whatever. I don't know. We just do. Watch this. Finish it off. Get around the legs. Now you won't have this mess if you do it in a uh, mixing bowl that fits the bird and you have enough room for, to toss the bird around. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing is perfect just so you get some of the herbs on there. That's all we want. We want a hint, other than the garlic, right? Ah! Take that away. I'm gonna take the Italian parsley. I like a lot. You can use uh, just one uh, bush. I like a lot. I'm just gonna shove it in there. Voila! Voila! Look at that. That's it. We're done. What? Yeah, we just have to tie the bird up. That's easy. Let me show you how to do that. To tie the bird up, it's not hard. It's not difficult. Nah, it's not, my friend. No, it's not. But here, I just just a regular um, uh, rope string here, cooking string, whatever. Just, just get one of those. All I did was, the first thing I did, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you this right here. Ah, it's all getting tied up. Tied up. <laughs> That was lame. Here we go. I'm, I just made a small little circle here, right, like, like that. To do that, all you have to do, take your string, just like that, just like that. Loop it right there, right there. Bring it around. You don't need a big knot. You just need a, we're gonna use this part to get the leg. We're gonna put the leg through there, okay? And then, down we'll, Keep it tight. I take this end. You can go this end, this end. It doesn't matter. It's not about presentations. I put it into the wing, bring it around just like that, into the wing, just like that. Look at that. It ain't going nowhere, baby. It ain't going nowhere. And I'm gonna take the other end. I'm just gonna come around like that. Oh yeah. Just like that. See that? Coming in around. Look, look, coming around. Across. Just like that. Bring it around this leg. Just like that. Bring it around this leg. Oh yeah. Come here, take this leg. Bring it around. Wrap it around the drum leg. And then I wrap it around one more time. I come in between. Just like that. Look, look. 
Now there's other ways of doing it, more appropriate ways. I'm not doing it the appropriate way. I'm just doing it right now, make it easy for everybody. Simple as that, simple as that. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold one end, come around one more time, bring it into the loop. You just wanna make a knot. That's all we're doing. We're making a knot so it ain't going nowhere. Voila, you cut the excess, just like that. This, bur this leg, it, if you want to, you could take it and put it underneath there. Now, look how beautiful that knot is. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. Is it right? Probably not. It's Lou. Who cares? It works. That's all that matters. Simple, 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 simple. Okay, now let's get this ready for the oven. Ah! What I like to do is transfer this into the Ninja Pan. And what I did was I tinfoiled this so the, the fat and the juices from the turkey does not, it's just easy to clean, my friends, easy to clean. But I'm gonna show you something else that's gonna make it a lot easier. Rather than using the Ninja Foodie pan that has the grooves in it, their baking pan, it's just a pain in the butt to clean up after you cook a bird in there Use, or on that pan. I have these silicones baking, they're great, they're great. They're unbelievable. And I love them, they're easy to clean. So all, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place two of these in here. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them at QVC. QVC has a special going on with these right now. They work perfect, I mean they're better when it comes to roasting or, or, or baking your birds versus the those metal racks and the baking pans with the slits in them i don't like them they're hard to clean before i transfer that because my hands are is still clean sanitized we're go i'm going to use what's called mita now this is a great company you don't have to get it it is expensive it's up there in price for one of these you can you can actually get it, it double or or you could get four of them and monitor the temperature of what you're cooking, whether it's meat, pork, fish, or any uh, poultry. Meter, it's a great company. I, I, I love it, it's wireless, it works off of my phone. And if you don't have one of those, then get one of these. An, uh, an oven thermometer, this, this is great just as well. If you don't have one of these, I'm sure, hopefully, maybe, you have just a regular, you know, digital or non-digital, the one with the non-digital as well. Get one of these. You just have to open up the oven and the heat comes out and, and you really want to try to prevent from doing that. But at least you can monitor the turkey or chicken or anything you're cooking. That being said, that being said, my friends, I'm gonna stick this here. Now I'm going to transfer. The best way of doing this, you want to get it into the breast area. And like any other thermometer, you don't want to hit the bone. It will give you false reading. So let's not do that. I'm going to just stick that in there. Now I'm going to take this bird and I'm going to transfer it. And let's get the Ninja what? XL oven ready. Okay, we'll come right back. And power this on, power button. Bear with me because I'm doing it backwards. Okay, so function, we want it on whole, whole roast. We don't want to air fry it. And friends, yeah, there, there, there's videos out there about air frying your turkey. Just keep it simple, keep it simple. Now, let's go ahead, go to function. We did that. Now we'll go to temperature. It's on 375, and that's what we want to keep it on. So time, we'll go ahead, time, we're gonna go ahead and do it at, uh, oh, temperature. 375, time. Maybe two hours and 15 minutes. And then we're gonna press start. This is only gonna take approximately about maybe two to three minutes to, uh, maybe even faster. It's, it's just gonna beep, it's gonna say ready to put the food in. It's gonna be ready for the food to go in. That being said, let me, this is the pan that I was talking about. This pan here, it is a pain and a pain and a pain of the butt to clean. And there probably are non-stick pans. If they are, go ahead and use that. If you prefer that versus getting 
uh, one of these silicone cones, uh, silicon. Um, <laughs> ah, what is wrong with my head? I don't know. I, I'm melting. I'm melting. Uh, these are great. It will handle the heat. And otherwise, if you don't have that and you have this, naturally you do with this. Uh, Underneath there where you put your pan, the roasting pan, make sure you tinfoil that and the only thing you have to clean up is this. And it is, and I would soak this to be honest with you. I'm going to let you know. It, it, the fact of the matter is you will have to soak this by the time the bird is done. We'll go ahead and we'll place the bird in there. Let me do this. We're going to open it up. Voila! And we'll place the bird in here. I'm going to, ah, Lois, you're always taking chances. I know, I know. Why, why? There we go. It's in there. Nice, close, and voila. Now that we have the turkey inside the Ninja oven, I have the temperature probe in there whereby it's going to tell me once it reaches at that temperature to take it out. The temperature, you can go from 170 to 180, actually 165 to 180. When you're cooking a turkey, what's gonna cook first and faster than any part of the turkey is going to be the breast and the wings. The drums is what takes a little longer. Dark meat always takes longer to cook. Whereby, you're testing out the breast and it's at 165, most likely the drum is going to be a little less than that. And you want to get it to the point where it's safe to eat. I would go ahead and do around 170. Use your gauge, no matter what temp uh, thermometer, oven thermometer you have, use that gauge and just keep track. This is where it's delicate. You don't want to overcook the bird, neither do you want to undercook the bird. And the best way to do this is to achieve at 170, take it out about 165, cover it with tin foil, and let it rest for a good 20 to a half an hour. Some people will say 15 minutes. Not! It's still cooking, my friends. Let it rest for 20 to a half an hour and then you should be fine, and you should have a, your, your bird should be in what? Perfection, okay? We'll come back when this bird is done, and we'll go from there, all right. All right, all right, my friends. This bird is done, it's complete, it's finished, completed, yes, it's done. I'm gonna power this off, I think I hit the power button. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gonna open up this baby. Look how juicy. Oh, I think th this is gonna be juicy. This, I said, look how juicy. We don't know until we cut it. This is gonna be awesome, my friends. This is gonna be awesome. What I'm going to do, this bird is beautiful. It's beautiful. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna take this bird out, place it on the counter, trans transfer this oven away and we're going to let the bird rest for a half an hour after the half an hour we're going to come back i'm going to show you i'm not going to leave you without cutting the bird no no i'm not going to do that i want to show you how to cut the bird properly and then we conclude ah our thanksgiving dinner yummy 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 to my tummy we'll come right back Right, right, right. Look at this beautiful bird. It's ready to cut. Oh yeah, this baby's ready to cut. Go ahead and do this. Now this bird took approximately about one hour and 44 minutes duration time to let it cool down, so on. You know, you tack that on. But you can do this in a regular oven if you don't have the Ninja Foodie XL oven. Now what I like to do, and you need to try to get a good sharp knife. If you don't have one, but you have a knife sharpener, sharpen your knife. If you don't have that, try to get the best sharp knife that you do have available. What I like to do is I'm going to just 
pull the wing first, break it off from the socket, just like that. And I have a beautiful, beautiful um, serving plate here. I'm just gonna lay it like that. I'm gonna take this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm grabbing from the bottom of the wing and just pulling. Now you could twist and turn as well, but I'm pulling just like that. Now, we're gonna cut the, um, the drum. And what I wanna do is slowly work around where the bone is. I'm using a small knife right now. And it's still warm, as you can see, some of the, uh, if, you, if the camera catches it, there's still smoke. I'm cutting near the bone. I'm gonna pull this down as I cut. You can see the steam. Here's the bone right there. And just wanna make sure I get most of it around the bone, just like that. Now, when you're cutting, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, nothing, trust me, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna take my large sharp knife and all I'm gonna do is press and you gotta have a sharp knife for this. And it'll go right through, just like that. Hear it? Nice. Look at that. Look how tender that is. And see the socket? That's what I did. Now, you may cut through part of the bone, not exactly on the socket, and that's okay. You did nothing wrong. Now, I'm not using my small knife, but you can if you want to. And I'm just gonna go ahead. It's still hot, so I'm being really careful. I wanna make sure that I get part of the meat cut near the bone before I'm gonna cut through the bone. Cut right to that socket, just like that. And we'll lay it just like that. Here, you have the main spine, the bone spine right there. We wanna, all we wanna do is feel around there. And we're going to, we're going to, this is the breast area. We're just gonna go just, Take your time and just feel and cut along the spinal top of the turkey. And just do it slow. Don't, don't, don't rush. And what you're going to do, you're going to pull away as you cut. And you're just feeling along now the rest of the bone. And I'm going to use my other knife for this. And I'm just gonna feel around the bone as I pull the breast away. And you're gonna get a nice, beautiful breast if you just take your time. No need to rush. Now, I told you that this turkey is the white meat is gonna be just as juicy as the dark. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the juice coming out of that. And this is all about simplicity, my friends. That's it. I'm gonna lay this here. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the other side. I'm gonna, now you see the bone here? That's all we're doing. We're gonna just follow along the bone just follow along the bone. Again, it does not have to be perfect. No. Just take your time. I'm rushing a little bit only to get the video completed. But just take your time. And we'll get this sucker off. And then we'll go from there. Look at that. 
See how I'm cutting that? Just like that. Okay. I'm gonna place this on this side and I wanna show you, look how juicy the sucker is. Now, let's go back when we're cooking the turkey. You can place tin foil on top. You don't have to get it as dark as I like it. I like it very dark. For those who know me, I love my chicken. I love all my birds. <laughs> I love all my birds to have that nice dark skin on the top. But you can place the tin foil and, and then halfway through, remove the tin foil from the top and then go from there. Proper way of cutting this, a sharp knife is recommended. You want to, you don't want to cut it lengthways. No, you're going to destroy it. What you want to do is just, depending on how many people you're serving, you base it on that. See how I'm cutting on the side? Look at that. Look at that. That's all you need to do. Look at that. Do you see falling apart? Not. Of course not. And you got a beautiful, beautiful, perfect cut. You can't beat that, my friends. You can't beat that. And then all you have to do is take this, put it on a beautiful serving plate, and voila, you have a Thanksgiving turkey. How awesome is this? So my friends, we did justice today. I think so. This is a perfect, perfect small bird because of what's going on with the epidemic, right? Most people are not gathering together, but I'm sure most of you may have already purchased a bird or about to for Thanksgiving, and you're not gonna feed a whole family. Now, some are traveling, some are still uh, gonna have a gathering with uh, what? They're doing um, uh, distancing, right? They're gonna be six feet apart, and they're gonna serve it in a different manner, but that's okay. But this is perfect for a small family. If you want a large bird, you could do the same thing with the large bird. Uh, it's just gonna cook just a little longer. I don't recommend anything beyond the 14 pound bird to fit into the Ninja XL oven. And the silicone, if you're going to get a 12 and above, between 12 and 14, I don't recommend this at all because the top of the turkey is definitely going to hit the top heating element so you want to try to stay below 12 and then if you want to do 14 I you can without this that being said I think we did great and remember to use your uh, oven thermometer you want to keep an eye on that it needs to be at 170 that's my recommendation Take it out at 165, whether it's the Ninja oven, countertop oven, or it's your stove oven. Then you won't overcook it. You're gonna get this beautiful, beautiful, nice, look at that, look at that. I, I can't express anymore. And it's so good. It's so good to your tummy. Mm -mm -mm. Well, this concludes our recipe. Simplicity, simple, and yet yummy. So my friends, I wish you all well. I wish you a safe Thanksgiving and a healthy Thanksgiving as well and always thereafter. Other than that, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thumbs up. I appreciate that as well. Until then, my friends, I leave you with peace, joy, and happiness in all that you do. Take care, my friends, and stay safe. Take care. This is Lou Rayo. Inside my window. Inside my window. Take care, my friends. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, nice, nice. No, it's not. You can't eat that. Ah, I won't eat it. I won't eat it. I'll eat the turkey, I'll eat the turkey, 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 oh, all for me, all for me, all for me, mine, mine, all mine, all mine, ah, ah, ah.